Hey guys, how's it going? Now apps and Mac work very well. But did you guys know that apart from your normal apps, you can also install specific apps that take major advantage of the menu bar at the top. And the menu bar is one of the most widely implemented features across Mac OS and Apple just puts it on top of everything. So why not install a good app that makes best use out of it, whether it's a monitoring tool or some quick utility tool. Well, that's what we'll be discussing in today's video. This is one from Guiding Tech and in this video, we'll be taking a look at five of the best apps that you can install on your macOS device to make the best use out of that menu bar. Let's get started. All right, now I am a big fan of monitoring all of my system resources, the network activity and everything like that. And that is where iStat menu comes in. So you might want to know the status of the granular components like CPU, GPU, network sensors and whatnot. iStat menu provides details of such components as system information in a more comprehensive way. Also, the app doesn't consume many resources to collect the information and you can view all of that by clicking the app icon in the menu bar. From temperature to the volume levels, it shows information quite neatly on the menu bar. It's an absolute must have for everyone who cares about his or her Mac. And the iStat menu comes with a 14 day trial, but if you like it, then you can buy it for $14.15 from the developer's website. Moving along, we have one switch, which is like a reincarnated version of Control Center, but for macOS. Now, true to its name, one switch offers several toggles to switch on or off several settings and services that are otherwise nested deeply. It could be as simple as cleaning up your desktop view or disconnecting the Bluetooth earphones or speaker. You can use it for some nifty tasks like showing or hiding hidden files or activating a screensaver. One Switch app comes with a 7 day free trial and then you'll have to pay 5 bucks to buy it from the site. Next up, we have BitBar, which allows you to basically put any string of information onto the menu bar. Now, while this is a framework, you also get a lot of contributors who've written several ready to use plugins for BitBar. From your network speed to shuffling songs on Spotify, you can achieve most of the things using different plugins from the plugin directory. With BitBar, you can beef up the menu bar of your Mac with a variety of plugins. The best part is that the app is available for free and so are the plugins. Now, if you've used task view on Windows or split view on iPadOS, you know what I'm talking about. Basically split screen functionality. That is a feature that we've all craved on our macOS devices. And for some reason, you do not have that by default on macOS. That's where Magnet comes in. Magnet exists to let you snap and stack app windows in different directions on your screen. Just click on the app on the menu bar and pick a direction from the drop down menu. Alternatively, you can memorize the shortcuts to snap and sort the windows quickly. Now, Magnet works best if you tend to hook your MacBook Pro or Air to a suitable monitor. You can buy Magnet for $2.99 from the Mac App Store. Now, last on this list, we have Bartender, which allows you to, well, declutter the space on your menu bar. Bartender 3 is an efficient tool to manage all the app icons that will appear after installing the apps on this list. Basically, you can smartly declutter that menu bar space and arrange the app icons into an expandable yet invisible stack that auto hides. You can also manually reorder the icons as per your usage and choice. As such, hiding certain apps protects your privacy from other folks and also cleans up the menu bar. Now, you can enjoy the three week trial of Bartender if you download it from the official website or pay $15 as a one-time license fee. And well, that was it. Also, if you're concerned about the premium price that you're paying for all of the apps that I've talked about, you can get them all for free by using a set app subscription, the links to which will be down there in the description box, along with the direct download links to all of the apps that I talked about as well. Also, if you have any more suggestions or queries regarding macOS, the comment section is yours. Comment down below and I will try and get back to you ASAP. Lastly, if you found this video helpful, make sure to let us know by giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel for more awesome tech content. Till then, this is one from Guiding Tech and I'll see you in the next one.